Info Center. The Info Center is located up on the top of the application. In from left to right in the Info Center, we're going to start with the search field. So in here, I can type in any words such as walls or doors, and I can search then for an answer. Now, when I want to search, I just click on the binoculars, and it'll run a search on that particular word, and it will help you out. We also have the subscription center. When we purchase uh, Revit software in a corporate or an educational world, typically we will buy what's called a subscription. That way we pay every year and we get the latest and greatest. Uh, it's the most economical way to get Autodesk software. So this gives you information about your account and your services that you get with subscription. The communication center is a panel for product updates. So every once in a while the product will come up with a new update which will fix a lot of the bugs. Uh, so they'll be called service packs. Uh, so we might get like a service pack one, a service pack two, and any announcements uh, will come through there. Favorites. We can also put any favorites uh, from any particular uh, help screen or website and we can have them listed here so anytime you can go up and find them quickly and easily. Um, also we have the Autodesk 360. Autodesk 360 is an is a cloud-based uh, account, an online service in the cloud in which you have access to all kinds of uh, stuff uh, with Autodesk. Uh, students have a free Autodesk 360 account. All they have to do is sign up and you actually do get a free account. You do not have to pay for it. Uh, so you get minimal type of things such as online rendering and file sharing and file storage. So you can place all your uh, assignments up in the cloud so you can have them no matter where you go. Exchange apps. Uh, yes, there are apps for Revit and you can actually go to the Exchange Apps website and you can go and buy an app for your uh, Revit. Uh, so you can have different small applications that do certain tasks for you. So this is called the Info Center. It's parked up here all the time and it's there for your basic uh, information and help. Also, at speaking of help, at the very end we have the help drop down. I uh, highly recommend this. Uh, the help screen is very good in Revit. It's very improved over most modern or most older help applications. So I would check that out. You can also hit the down arrow next to air and find additional type help things that we've seen before when we logged in on the welcome splash screen. So use your info center located at the top of the application.